Tonight on the Pizza Adventure, it's Christmas time in the city. Sean Carclancy, Jasmine, Mikey Lasagna, Grandpa Lasagna, and myself, M2J, stop at Luzo's and Two Bros in the East Village, then move on to the West Village for some Ben's and Kess days. Plus, a newcomer joins our adventure team. here outside first avenue is freezing we're from midnight to eight haven't gone to sleep yet time to drink a monster stay up eat some pizza ready to do this i don't know about anybody else but starving Very nice. I like it, man. Texture the crust. I definitely like the texture of the crust. Everybody, everybody seems to be enjoying themselves. It's wafer thin. Sean's extra greasy. It isn't greasy enough for you. They gave me the olive oil. It's that's, 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 that's what I like. All right, lasagna. It was good. Good? Pretty good. What's the feedback on everything? The crust, the sauce, the cheese? You know what? I, I give it an eight all around, man. A flustered eight. Eight? Yeah. Yeah. Eight? Yeah. Yeah. 7.5. 7.5? So, you're like, <laughs> well, I was able to give it an eight, but they were to give it eight and a half. Oh, so you're, you're that guy. Nice. Now, overall, wait, the crust was awesome, was nice and thin. The right. sauce was less watery than last time. It's still a little water and used to it. The cheese was amazing, just wish it was spread more. Other than that, that was pretty spread. Alright. Lugs? No, I'm not going with a number here. First of all, I want to give props to the olive oil on the table. Yeah. That's for the, um, you know, for, the, for your daily guido. It's uh, very, very homey. Um, yeah, crust, nice and light, delicious, crispy how it should be. Sauce, delicious, done the right way. The fresh basil definitely made it for me. So, I mean, I'm not really going to give it a number. I'm just going to say it's really good. It's up there. All right. You know, at eight and sevens and a half, they all sound good to me. You know? Yes. I'm going to even it out, give it an 8.5. Sean's <laughs> made a little bit. <laughs> 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 uh, the crust was thin, good, charred well. The sauce was good, tangy, had a bit of sweetness to it. Fresh mozzarella, fresh basil. Fresh. Fresh. Yes, yeah, fresh. If I was fresh. hungry, fresh is the you not miss, You not miss like fresh. Light. Yeah, very Pizza fresh. itself was light, not too heavy. It's not sitting heavy on me. If I came in here hungry, I could have two pies easy. I promise. <laughs> The crust was pretty much uh, the way the crust should be. It's like chewy, it's got a little bit of a char to it. We, we are dealing with a cold brick oven still, so that's why the crust is perfect. Um, the sauce, a little watery, but flavorful nonetheless. Stayed on the pizza, didn't fall off, so it's a good consistency. Cheese was fresh, the fresh basil on the, off the chain. Yeah. Off the chain? Yes. Quite the, the chain. recommendation. I'm recommending this place. Not quite me, right? If you went and found the chain, you would not find this pizza on it. Absolutely not. <laughs> this is Two Bros Pizza, which I've heard endless praise about. It's all dollar pizza in St. Mark's. Everybody says, oh, you gotta try it, oh, you gotta try it. It's better than this place, better than that. I've had people tell me that it's better than Artichoke. So, I'm gonna check it out. <laughs> Here we go. I'm actually going to try it. Ah, I can't find it. It's actually not bad. Hey, want a fry bite? Yeah. This is unprecedented. <laughs> like it's got the chewy crust and everything. No, it actually has no bad. I'm surprised. <laughs> well, son of a you bitch. Want, you want to try something? Just a lunch? Yeah, let me, let me, let me, let me. Hit this. I've got plenty of dollar slices in my day. Let's see which part. As far as 
a dollar slice market goes. It's kind of cool. But this is what every dollar slice tastes like. I've tasted the worst dollar slices. It's sauce, it's same for us. Definitely not artichoke. No, why have we told you it's better than artichoke? F smoking crack, it's ridiculous. All right, right now, we are walking to Men's, which is supposed to be a pretty hot spot on Bleakers. We're gonna check it out. We'll see how their pizza is. It's got a good reputation. Yeah. Got a lot of recommendations for it. We'll see what's popping. I thought you were taking this too. I feel like we just went from the penthouse to the doghouse. Uh, when it comes to this, this mess right here, it's dead. So, I was asked the question, better than the dollar pizza? And no. It was, it was awful. <laughs> it wasn't <laughs> good at all. It was just so generic. Any place you can compare to this is definitely on the bottom of our list. The dollar pizza is better than this. How would you compare the freshness? I'd rather eat like two day old pizza from them than the freshness of this. I'm not happy with this. I disapprove. Last on the All right. Yeah? Yeah. Stress is chewy, sauce loves is special, cheese isn't that fresh, but there's a lot of it. You know, speaking of fresh, it's, you know, last place you went, pretty fresh. It's like I'm watching Nick and Knight, just got that with fresh fricks and the Golden Girls comes on, you know? <laughs> I could eat this and not realize I just had a piece of pizza. Magazine, and apparently talking about magazine is the best pizza in New York. Ranked better than Defara's, which you know we love Defara's. So this is this is a challenge right here. This is like serious reputation on the line. The credibility of New York Magazine and Time Out Magazine on the line. Let's find out what we got. I saw, I saw the handcraft piece going into the wood burning oven. Wood burning. I'm ready. Uh -huh. Besides, man. Besides, yeah. besides. Seems a little trendy, hipster douchebaggy, but you know, the food's looking pretty correct. Um, very hopeful. You know, Matt saw the kitchen, so that's a good sign. There we go. 